Hello everyone, and I just got a new microphone, so I can record videos again, yay! First video I'm gonna record, this one obviously, is about Call of Duty Black Ops and way to fix them to work, kind of. Now there were two major issues with Call of Duty Ghosts, one of them is the RAM, since if you don't have more than 6 gigabytes of RAM, the game will just give you a fatal error, which is like the biggest bullshit. And uh, like Activision is fucking fucking with all of us because of that shit. Now, the other thing is you can't run the game if your graphic card doesn't support full DirectX 11, and there's an easy bypass for that, but I'll get to that later. First, let's let's see how we can fix the RAM. That's quite simple. It works kind of like a crack. So I just open the file location, and I have this. These few files. They are basically all that you need for this to work. Simply copy, replace. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you have a legal version like on on steam you just have to copy this and it should work and it shouldn't get you banned or anything because people have used it before so it's pretty much safe now the other thing is first let me say uh, one thing I have DirectX SDK and I have Windows SDK so I am not sure if this file actually exists if it doesn't you must install the Windows SDK I'm sure that will make the file show because that's what I've seen already so basically go to your C drive Windows system 32 oh, system 32 and just press the DX and you should get DX CPL DX control panel now when you open this window, you see this scope little, press edit, and just three dots, find the executable, which is IW6SP64 underscore ship dot exe. Press OK. And on the bottom of the page, on the window, there is device settings, feature limit, you have to put 11 underscore 0 or 11 underscore 1 and force warp. Otherwise, let's test it. Otherwise, the game will not run and it won't be DirectX 11 and you will get the DirectX error. Now, there's another problem with this kind of emulation. It it takes quite a bit of toll for the CPU. By that I mean the CPU has to render all of the DirectX 11 stuff. And what that does basically, as you can see, my CPU is a bit overheated right now. I'm not, I'm not even running the game. I need to get that fixed, but I will at one point. So basically, if you have the force warp and everything, you can just start the game normally like this. Get to the main menu. However, as you can see, it's just heating up, heating up like crazy. So I'm going to just stop the game now. So this is basically how you can run Call of Duty Ghosts in any kind of environment. However, one thing really must has one thing is what I must say. Activision, stop even trying. Call of Duty is dead. Make a proper game before you do shit like this. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and expect more videos now since I have a microphone.